I have uh, been diagnosed last year, last November 2020, with stage four lung cancer. And as devastating that was, I'm really okay. I didn't think I was gonna tear up. Uh, no tears. I uh, cried already. I just, I, I haven't talked about it in a while. Uh, I'm dealing with it, but I don't talk about it. So, um, this thing that's in here, it's like you have this vision, and this is what I, I, I love about all of this. You have this stuff in here that's imagination. It's, you know, it's not real, it's here. But then you take all of this and then you write it down. Now it's words, it's magic, it's on paper. And then on paper, you make that a reality, you know, into these images, uh, and then you see a thing that you had here and now these people are acting it out and the process is just is beautiful to me Vic Lee started out my childhood um south south chicago i, I have this saying i was born on the low end raised in Inglewood and grew up in the South Suburbs. Always loved movies and uh, TVs. That was an outlet. My family and I, we would always, we would have talent shows, doing dance skits, uh, little plays and things like that. It became more of a serious thing for me. When I went to college, it was just something that I couldn't escape. It just kept calling me, film and TV. I have a film called Record, and it's called Record because it's something that I've always uh, say, like, oh, I should record it. It's pulled out from you. I have done um, love stories, social justice films. And when I say love stories, I, I, those are social justice to me, even though they're in love. It's a love story but there's some social justice in it, showing that there is a, um, that, there, that there is a black love. I have a film called Look What You Done. It's a, a hard film. It deals with 911 calls and the police stopping black people. There are certain things that I won't show or do. Example, the guy, he gets shot. But I'm not gonna show that. I'm not. I don't want to uh, be part of the the trauma. When you watch the film, I also added the element of who he was. Just a little glimpse of he's a human, a regular guy. He just got home from college, and um, just bring our people some humanity, or show that that we're the same. Like we go to school. We. We eat cereal, we uh, <laughs> do, do the regular things that everyone else does. Um, and that it's not always uh, violence and all of these negative uh, stereotypes that's normally attached to when we talk about or show black people. I wanna see me on film. Not me, but me. <laughs> and I would just like to see more of me when I'm going through the the TV guide and things like that. The saying, uh, the future in film is female, is here because we have our stories. We we can tell them in, in such a way uh, that speaks volumes and speaks to, uh, you know, our hearts. I'm doing this because I love it. But while I'm doing it, I also know that there are things that has to be conquered and that is getting into these spaces that 
a, a lot of women, a lot of black women aren't normally in. And I, I'm striving to do that. Filmmaking isn't easy. So the type of person I am already, I, um, I like to, to take on challenges. I, I'm kind of weird that way where it's like, it's challenging. I'll, okay, let's, let's do it. Activism is a form of doing an action to create change. And change is inevitable, it's important. Um, film, for me, is my form of activism. My intent, everything that I do is done in love and in blackness. Blackness is uh, it's a culture. It's a people, it's a resilience, a drive. Blackness is love. It's beautiful. <laughs> Blackness is being in tune and in touch with your elders and your ancestors. When you watch a Vic flick, I, I want you to uh, I want you to have a good time. I do want you to have a good time. I want you to learn something and I want you to use your cognition. I want you to think. I know while I'm here, while I'm here on this plane, I have work to do. But the work really isn't for me. It's for, it's for my grandchild. It's for the generations to come. What is important for people to know about me? This is strange because it's like, well, I don't want people to, you know, to know anything about me, <laughs> you know, like, so it's like nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> However, that's not the space we're in. I truly want people to be inspired by me. And when I say that, not because it's like, oh, she's a filmmaker. Da, da, da. I, I'm, I'm a filmmaker, but I want people to be inspired um, for a different reason. I have uh, been diagnosed last year last November 2020 with stage four lung cancer. And as devastating that was, I'm really okay. I didn't think I was gonna tear up. Uh, no tears, I uh, cried already. So what I want people to, Wait, cause I don't want, I don't want to, uh, wait, 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 <laughs> Okay. I want people to be inspired to keep going because you can get faced with, um, some devastating, life-changing, uh, news, but you can push through it and still do what you want to do, to still follow your passion. I want people to come away with being inspired, to push through whatever it is, and to really just take care of this. This is what's important. Take care of this and being happy. Because, uh, you know, you can, What I mean, what's the purpose of, like, the other way? I just, that's not gonna do anything for me. So I might as well smile, that feels better. What I would like to say to uh, the Everyday Hero audience, the people, is to keep going. That's, that's it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't quit. Don't quit. Whatever it is, don't quit. Um, that's it. That's it. <laughs> keep going.